Hey guys, I am finishing up on a little science project today. So what we are going to do, this is a super easy science project if you're interested in doing this, is we are going to do what's called water wicking. And wicking is when you put something dry, like a paper towel, into water. Have you ever noticed that when you get something like a towel or washcloth wet, that it's not like that one little part gets wet, but the parts around it get wet? That is due to what's called capillary action. And the water uses capillary action to um, fill in all the little spaces in between, sorry, ah, my paper towel is wrinkling. Um, water uses the capillary action to fill all the little spaces that are empty to move through the paper towel. And um, it's actually what the scientific thing that's happening is that the bond between the paper towel and the water is stronger than the bond that the water just has in and of itself. And so what happens is it just moves through the paper towel or the towel or the washcloth or your shirt. Sometimes have you ever had that happen where you get a little bit of your shirt wet and then like the whole thing is wet and you're like, oh, I just got a little bit of wet now. Like the whole thing is just like wet and annoying. So anyway, um, that's that capillary action happen. It moves along and fills the tiny gaps of fiber in the paper towels and it occurs due to the adhesive force between the water and the paper towel being stronger than the cohesive forces inside the water itself. So this happens in plants where moisture travels from the roots to the rest of the plant and that's kind of like a little lead in to what we're going to be doing later this spring if you're in my second grade class. So what I have done is I colored a paper towel on two ends like this. You know I love a rainbow, my friends. Pro tip, when you color your paper towel, color it on a piece of paper, do you see that? That will be all over your table if you don't put a piece of paper underneath your paper towel to absorb the extra ink that goes through. This is an old piece of paper, it's a list of Things that my kids can do to stay active every day. That's right, my kids have PE every day and they have to do something every day to stay active. So now that they have kind of figured it out, they don't need this list anymore. All right, so what I have is my paper towel that I colored like a rainbow. I folded mine in half, so I actually have two sides of a rainbow here. When this side is the part that was underneath, so that's the part that was absorbing the ink on the other side before it got to this paper. Talk about capillary action. Am I right? Yes, I am very right. And then I have two old jam jars. See, little jam jars. This one still has a label on it even though it's gone to the dishwasher. And all I'm going to do is take one end. This is where it gets excited, you guys. And we're not gonna finish this. You're not gonna see this finish. You're going to have to do your own to see what happens after a while. So I'm going to put one end in that side of the water and one end in that side of the water. And I'm going to make sure it's not all the way in because I don't want the ink just to rinse out. And I'm going to leave a little bridge like that between the two. And through the capillary action, my paper towel should become a complete rainbow. So that's a little science project that you can do at home. Make sure that you put your jars in a place where if it happens to drip or get touched by something, it's not gonna get on other stuff because this is actual ink that's gonna be going between the two of them. So if you put it like right next to the kitchen sink where your parents or your family is working a lot, they're gonna be like getting the smears of ink all over them. So put it in a window or put it on a shelf where nobody like gets to and stuff, but in a place where you'll still observe it. All right, have fun guys.